good morning students and welcome to today's maths class so in the previous class we studied about estimation of sum and difference right we saw what is estimation of sum and difference so what is estimate when we need to estimate the sum or difference of the numbers we round off the given numbers to the nearest tens or hundreds and then find the sum or difference correct so whenever they tell you to find an estimation you round off the given numbers to whichever place they have told tens hundreds thousands and then you find the sum and difference of the rounded off numbers okay and we saw various examples here so what an example we saw was three two four eight and five one six three so adding them so how will you find the estimate sum you will round off the numbers so when you round off 3248 it round to the nearest tens it rounds off to 3250 and 5163 rounds off to 5160 right so when you add these two numbers you will get 8410 and the actual sum how you will find you will just add the given numbers as they are to get the actual sum then we saw what are estimated difference so estimated difference also same way first we'll round off the numbers okay and then find their difference so or subtract them okay so here we saw different examples again to round off the numbers to nearest tens hundreds and then estimate their difference correct and we also saw how to find the actual difference how to find actual difference you will just do normal subtraction using the numbers as they have given them so the actual numbers you will find their difference okay now we also saw that when you round off a number to the nearest tens it gives you a closer estimate than rounding off the numbers to nearest hundreds okay rounding off to nearest tens give you a gives you a more accurate answer or a more closer answer to the actual sum or difference okay so we saw various examples and then we saw the exercise 2.5 which is there in your textbook right so in today's class we will be studying about word problems so what are word problems word problems are nothing but they have given you a uh, explanation or like kind of like a story okay word problems are also called as story problems so they've given they'll give you a kind of a story explaining and some numbers in a story in the story so you have to read the story carefully and then form uh, make your sentences in your head on your own and frame the sentences and then find uh, see what they've told you to do find what is the problem and find the solution for that so that is what is a word problem basically okay so let's see a few examples and then solve questions which are given so example one the people of colony a donated 12,800 rupees people of colony b donated 11,865 rupees find the total amount donated so there are two colonies one is colony a another is colony b and these people are donating money okay so colony a has donated how much money 12800 rupees and colony b has donated how much 11865 rupees okay now so these two colonies have donated this this much money now they are asking find how much money okay or total amount they donated okay both the colonies together how much amount they donated you have to find so how we will write the solution colony a is equal to 12800 that means colony a donated rupees 12800 then colony b donated how much money they donated 11865 rupees okay then what have they told you to find they have told you to find the total amount so total amount donated you can write it as equal to 12800 plus 11865 now how do you do addition of numbers first you'll arrange them in their place value charts accordingly in vertically okay so then then you'll start adding the ones so here in ones place i have zero and five so zero plus five is how much it will be 5 only. Then we will move on to 10's place. In 10's place we have 0 plus 6. So how much is 0 plus 6? It will be 
6. Then moving on to 100's place, we have 8 plus 8. How much is 8 plus 8? It is 16. So, you will write 6 and carry over 1. Then we will add all the digits in 1000's place. In 1000's place, we have 2 and 1 and 1 which we have carried over. So, 1 plus 2, 3 and 3 plus 1, 4. Okay, and then we'll move on to the last place, which is the ten thousandth place. So in ten thousandth place, we have one and one. So one plus one is two. So how much money did the uh, donate in total? It was twenty four thousand six hundred and sixty five rupees. Okay, in total they donated twenty four thousand six sixty five rupees. Now let's see the next question or the next example. Find the number which is 15,000 more than 12,350. Okay, so the number here they've told you 12,350. And they're telling you to find a number which is 15,000 more than 12,350. Okay, so you have to find a number which is 15,000 greater than 12,350. So how will you find the number? First you write one number. One number, what is that? 12,350. So write it down. Then which is the second number? 15,000. Because they are telling they want a number which is 15,000 more than the first number. Okay, so 15,000. And then what will be your required number? Your required number will be 12,350 plus 15,000. Now to add these two numbers arrange the numbers in their place value chart vertically okay and then start adding the ones in ones place we have zero and zero zero plus zero is zero only then tens place we have five and zero which is five plus zero five then hundreds place we have three and zero how much is three plus zero it is three then thousands place we have two plus five seven and ten thousands we have one plus one two so what is the number uh, 15,000 more than 123450 it is 27,350 so uh, 15,000 more than 12,350 is 27,350 okay so this was second example now we'll see what is the next example here they're telling Mr. Gupta earned monthly uh, okay, how much he is earning monthly? He is earning 35,480. Then Mrs. Gupta earned rupees 41,260. Okay, they together saved 21,000 per month. How much did they spend? Okay. So they are telling Mr. Gupta earned uh, how much money he earned? A monthly income of 35,480. And Mrs. Gupta is earning how much? 41,260. Now, together they are saving some uh, money. How much they are saving per month? They are saving 21,500. Now, they are asking how much they spend per month. Okay, first we will find how much they earn together or what is their total income so first you'll write like this mr gupta's income 35480 then mrs gupta's income 41260 and their total income will be 35480 plus 41260 okay so write the numbers in their place values then add in from the ones place so 0 plus 0 is 0 then 8 plus 6 14 so write down 4 carry over 1 then 1 plus 4 5 and 5 plus 2 7 okay then 5 plus 1 is 6 and 3 plus 4 is 7 so what is their total income monthly it is 76,740 rupees okay so their total income is so much then they are told that their total savings is 21,500 correct so uh, the total savings is so much then they're telling how much did they spend per month so savings is so much to find their expenses or how much they're spending per month now you'll subtract the total income 76,740 minus their savings 21,500 okay so 76,740 and 21,500 now you'll start subtracting from one's place so 0 minus 0 will be 0 4 minus 0 is 0. Then 7 minus 5 is how much? It is 2. 
and then 6 minus 1 is 5 and 7 minus 2 is 5. So how much are they spending per month? They are spending 55,240 rupees per month. Okay, now this is what are word problems. Now we will see a few questions on word problems which are there in your textbook. Now, exercise 2.4 on page number 111. Okay, so they have given you four questions. Alright, so we will do these questions separately since we can't solve it in the textbook only we'll do it separately i'll show you separately and uh, you'll copy the questions and immediately after the questions copy down the answers that i'm showing y'all okay exercise 2.4 first problem a bakery sold 12650 milk biscuits 15720 salt biscuits and 8400 cashew biscuits during a month Okay, so they are telling there is a bakery and in a month that bakery is selling 12,650 milk biscuits, 15,720 salt biscuits and 8,400 cashew biscuits. So what was the total number of biscuits sold? Estimate the sum by rounding off to the nearest thousands and also find the actual number. Okay, so here number of biscuits sold, milk biscuits sold is how much? It is 12,000. 650 okay okay the number of salt biscuits sold is 15720 and number of cashew biscuits is 8400 so first they have told estimate it to the nearest hundreds thousands correct so estimate the number of biscuits sold to the nearest thousands so first let's round off the number to the thousands place so rounding of 12650 to the nearest thousands this is 650 sorry not 560 we get 13,000 okay so when you round it off you'll get 13,000 then rounding off 15,720 to the nearest thousand we get 16,000 now since you have told round it off to nearest thousands you look at the ones place now here in ones uh, sorry hundreds place in hundreds place we have seven which is greater than five so what we'll do we'll add one to the thousands place so this five becomes six and hundreds, tens and ones place become are replaced by zero. Okay, so it is rounded off to 16,000. Then rounding off 8,400 to the nearest thousand. What will you all get? So looking at the hundreds place, we have four. Since four is less than five, we'll keep eight in thousands place as it is. And rest of the digits towards its right become are replaced by zero. So 8,400 is rounded two nearest thousand as eight thousand okay so this is how we rounded the numbers now we'll find the estimated sum to find the estimated sum what you'll do thirteen thousand plus sixteen thousand plus eight thousand now all ones tens and hundreds place all are zero so zero plus zero plus zero will be zero so we write down three zeros then in thousands place we have three plus six how much is three plus six it is nine okay and nine plus eight is how much it is 17 so we write seven here and carry over one to ten thousands place so in ten thousands place we have one plus one two and two plus one three so our estimated sum is thirty seven thousand so the num total number of biscuits they are selling is thirty seven thousand that is rounding it off to nearest thousand then they have also told you to find the actual number. To find the actual sum, you will add the numbers as it is. Okay, so 12,650, 15,720 and 8,400. Now, once place, 0 plus 0 plus 0 will be 0 only. Then, tens place, 5 plus 2, how much is 5 plus 2? It is 7 and 7 plus 0 is 7. Okay. And then, 6 plus 7, how much is 6 plus 7? It is 13 and 13 plus... sorry uh yeah 13 and 13 plus 4 is 17 so you'll write 7 and carry over 1 then 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 5 8 and 8 plus 8 16 so you write down 6 and carry over 1 to the 10 thousands place now in 10 thousands place we have 1 plus 1 2 and 2 plus 1 3 so we got 36,770 so the total number of biscuits sold actually sold is 36,770 and when you round it off to the nearest thousands okay you uh, the total number of biscuits sold by rounding off to nearest thousands is 37 
thousand. Okay, that was first question. Now second question. There are twenty one thousand three hundred and forty seven people working in a university. Of these, that is of twenty one thousand three forty seven people, two thousand eight fifty are were engaged in research, and fourteen thousand six fifty were teaching. So there is a university in that total number of people working are twenty one thousand three forty seven. Okay, in that in that many people two thousand eight fifty are engaged in research and fifteen thousand six fifty are teaching. Okay, so they are asking how many other remaining people are engaged in other jobs? How many other people are engaged in other jobs? So first. What we'll do? We'll see the number of people teaching is fourteen thousand six fifty. The number of people engaged in research is two thousand eight fifty, and total number of people working is twenty one thousand three hundred and forty seven. So they have asked number of people engaged in other jobs. So to find that, what you'll do? You'll do total number of people working. That is twenty one thousand three forty seven minus. You'll do. This fourteen thousand six fifty plus two eight five zero. Okay, so you'll add these both numbers and subtract it from twenty one thousand three forty seven. So first, let's add them. So when you add fourteen thousand six fifty to two thousand eight fifty, so zero plus zero is zero, five plus five is ten. So zero, write it here and carry over one. So eight plus six fourteen and fourteen plus one fifteen. So write five, carry over one. Okay, so four plus one five and five plus two seven, and here one plus zero will be one only. So how many people are there teaching plus research is seventeen thousand five hundred. Now the remaining people who are engaged in other jobs they are twenty one thousand three forty seven minus seventeen thousand five hundred. So seven minus zero is how much? It is seven. Then four minus zero is four. Three minus five you can't do. So you carry over from One so that becomes thirteen minus five, eight, and this one has become zero now. So zero minus seven also you can't do. So you borrow one from two. So that is ten minus seven, three. Okay. So number of people engaged in other jobs is three thousand eight hundred and forty-seven. Okay. So this was question number two. I hope you all have understood it. Okay. Now moving on to question number three. Find the number which is twenty-five thousand seven twenty-eight more than fifty-one thousand eight fifty. We saw one example, like question like this in examples, correct? So first number, what you can write it as fifty-one thousand eight fifty. Then second number, twenty-five thousand seven twenty-eight. They are asking more than, which means you have to add the two numbers. Okay, so your required number will be fifty-one thousand eight fifty. Plus twenty five thousand seven twenty eight. So you write them vertically in their place values, then start adding from ones. So zero plus eight is eight. Then five plus two is seven. Then eight plus seven is fifteen. So write five carry over one to thousands place. So one plus one two and two plus five seven. So write down seven and then again five plus two seven. Okay. So your required number that is, uh. Twenty five thousand seven twenty eight more than fifty one thousand eight fifty is seventy seven thousand five hundred and seventy eight. Okay, so that was question number three. Moving on to question number three four. Find the number which is sixteen thousand three eighty four less than thirty three thousand two seventy. Okay, so first number is thirty three thousand two seventy. Second number is sixteen thousand three eighty four. Here the required number what they are asking, they are telling it should be less than. So less than means you have to subtract the two numbers. Okay, find the difference between the two numbers. So we'll do thirty three thousand two seventy minus sixteen thousand three eighty. Four. So when you arrange them vertically, you'll get zero minus four. Since you can't do that, we'll borrow one from seven. Seven becomes six here, and then zero becomes ten. So ten minus four is six. Now six minus eight we cannot do. So we'll borrow one from two. So that becomes sixteen minus eight, which is eight. Correct. And this two has become one. So one minus three we can't do again. So we'll borrow. So that eleven minus three becomes eight. Now here, this when we borrowed, this three became two in thousands place. Now two minus six you can't do again, so we'll borrow one from 
3 in the 10 thousands place. So 3 becomes 2 and this uh, 2 becomes 12. So 12 minus 6 is 6 only and 2 minus 1 is 1. So the number which is 16,384 less than 33,270 is 16,886. Okay, so the number is 16,886. Alright, so these were the uh, four word problems in your textbook. Okay, now here they have given you question number 5 for at home. So, do that for homework. Around 11,600 people visited a bird century over a month during peak season. The same century had only 2,500 visitors during off season. Okay, find the difference between the two numbers. So, here during peak season. Peak season means uh, where... Um, there are too many people or if you go to take your summer holidays or vacations you'll have vacations you know? so you'll go to travel so that will be peak season where many people will be there during off season will be the rest of year where many people don't go to the century to see watch the birds okay so there are 11,600 people in peak season and 2,500 during off season so to find the difference what you'll do you'll subtract both the numbers and get the answer okay so complete that question for your homework write the sentences correctly and then solve it okay so do that for your homework and we'll continue in the next class all right thank you students